Good morning. This is Marta. I am Italian and I live in Estonia. Today is a Sunday morning around I think 11:30 a.m. The sun is shining, it's really warm, it's about 6 degrees Celsius. And I came out to take a walk and enjoy the sun, which at the moment sets around 3:30 p.m., so I'm trying to make the best of it. We went for a hike in the Kasmu Peninsula in the Lahema National Park in the Gulf of Finland, about 80 kilometers east of Tallinn. The village of Kasmu has existed since the early 16th century and it was mainly devoted to the building of sailing ships. So when you get there, in the parking lot, uh, you can choose between a few trails and we picked the longest one of 15 kilometers. It was completely in the forest, which traces the coastline. Very beautiful. And since the sun set super early, over half of the hike was in the dark. And towards the end, we heard a funny snoring sound and probably it was a bear. We'll never know. That's fine. Good morning, it's about 10 a.m. on the 20th of November. Porridge is ready. I put some local Estonian cranberries, which I bought at a farmer's market and you can just store them um, in water in the fridge and they will keep for a very long time, like months. And then... Um, local honey from Zarema, which is an island, it's the biggest island uh, in Estonia. And then I put um, banana and chia seeds. This is the other part of my breakfast, which is uh, Estonian must wormleib, which is the black bread with sea buckthorn jam. In Estonian, it's called Astelpaiu Mos, which just translates to uh, sea buckthorn jam. And in Russian, it's called Ablipicha Pratyortaya Susakharum, which means um, sea buckthorn blended with sugar. Now I will spread it, of course, but I just want to show you the beautiful color. This odd-looking building is the Tallinna Linahall, literally Tallinn Town Hall. It was completed in 1980, especially for the Summer Olympics that were held in Moscow that year. But since Moscow is nowhere near the sea, then Tallinn hosted all of the sailing events and one of the venues which were built was the Linin Palace of Culture and Sport, later renamed Linahall. That's Finland, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Finland is exactly in front of us, but much further away. As you can see, it is a massive, massive concrete structure with a capacity of 4,200 people. By 2010, all parts of the building were shut down, including an ice hall and a concert hall. After that, renovations were supposed to start, but that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> 